guys welcome back to my channel so today I'm here in my kitchen going to show you guys something a bit different so today I'm gonna to be doing a face mask now this face mask I swear by it it's so good it's good for redness tightening your pores preventing acne just for everything it's amazing I swear by it um, so yeah and a reason that I do use it is because um, I am on my fourth month of Rakuten now so yeah, and you're not supposed to be using any topical creams while you're on it, so I am switching to natural remedies for my skin and for my hyperpigmentation because uh, Rakuten does thin down your skin and it does make it more prone to scarring because of that. So yeah, let's get to the ingredients. And if you think that I'm like making you pull out your whole kitchen for this mask, I probably am, but trust me, this mask is amazing. So let's start with the ingredients. Um, honey, honey is an antioxidant. It's also antibacterial, helps your skin glow and it keeps it all smooth. Um, yogurt, lemon, turmeric, the holy grail. Um, these are all um, antibacterial. So what that means is basically it kills any bacteria that causes um, acne and stuff like that. So it's a really good preventative me measure for acne. Um, also, yogurt has um, lactic acid in it, which also tightens your pores, so that's a really good bonus. Uh, we also have instant milk or like milk powder, which is really good because it has like vitamin A and vitamin C in it. It's also good like as a natural moisturizer for your skin, so it locks in the moisture, which you need, especially while you're in Rakuten, because that, that thing just dries out your skin like crazy. Um, rose water. Rose water is really good for balancing the pH of your skin and it also has anti-inflammatory properties. So that means like if you do have already active, or if you already have active acne on your skin, it will just help reduce the swelling and just let go of some of that pressure that you have on your face. Um, coffee. So coffee, uh, it's just, it's a really good natural exfoliant first thing. And then it also, it's also antibacterial. Um, baking powder. Baking powder is also a natural exfoliant. Corn flour has proteins that boost your collagen production. And oh yeah, coffee does that as well, which is really good. And it has amino acids that soften and brighten your skin, which is perfect. Now, now my last ingredient is kind of controversial. It is witch hazel. I used to use this as a toner for my skin, but um, I read a lot of things about it and how it can actually have reverse effects and um <laughs> basically because it like um dries it, like basically because it cleans out your skin so much it sucks natural oils as well that we do need on our skin so basically what our skin does in retaliation to that is produce more oil which causes more acne and more problems like i'm not trying to have that but it is good for the mask because you know it is very it's just a small percentage and Witch hazel is actually very good for your skin. It's just, especially when you use it as a toner, it's not that good because you're using it every day and by itself, it's too strong for your skin. So guys, let's start. Um, so I'm gonna start with the bases, which is yogurt. So I'm gonna do two tablespoons of yogurt. Now I make this mask in a large quantity only because it stays with me for a very long time and I do use it almost every day. So two tablespoons. And then my other base is honey. So let's do one and a half of honey, okay? So one. And a half. So this is the half. of honey the powders so your turmeric your turmeric is as i said the holy grail so you know do you guys know that indians um before their weddings they actually have like a whole day where they scrub the bride in turmeric which is which sounds amazing like i want to try that please like can i can i like have some can i get in on it but basically i'm just adding turmeric your baking powder and I'm just gonna get uh, I'm just gonna use it is you should add like a teaspoon of it but basically I'm just gonna add like the tip of it or maybe just put it in a little less so yeah this much baking powder 
So we're going to add another spoon, one spoon of cornflour. But I don't usually like fill up the spoon as much as I did for the, for the yogurt and stuff. So I just put around this much. So it looks like this. It looks so pretty. I love the color. Powdered milk. Now powdered milk, I add one and a half of powdered milk. So one... And this is roughly a half, but yeah. So yes, mix, 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 mix. So that's getting thick. I'm gonna add my liquids. So yes, I'm gonna add my witch hazel. And not too much witch hazel. Just, there we go, I think that's enough. Just do it to your liking. So if you have um, problematic areas that kind of um, lean towards a certain ingredient just add more of that if you guys get what i mean so yeah the mask looks like this it looks so good right now i'm gonna add the rose water so not too much rose water because we don't want it to be too watery so yeah that's how much rose water i added and just mix 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 i'm gonna add the coffee which i always add last because I just want to admire this color first, like by itself, because it's such a pretty color. But yeah, let's add the coffee. Now the coffee, you know, you can just go crazy with it. I usually do two. So one. Two. See, the way that the camera is set up, like, I can't show you exactly because, like, I'm trying to let you see my face. But, um, yeah, so I'm just going to mix this. So, basically, this is how the mask looks like by the end of it. And then, um, the last ingredient I do add is uh, lemon because the antibacterial properties of the lemon are more active when the lemon is freshly squeezed into the mask. So, if you're going to use the mask straight away, squeeze in a couple drops. But when you do come to use it the next time and the time after that, squeeze in a few drops every single time just to get like, you know, the best results possible. Let me add a couple drops because I'm going to do this now. And mix that in. But yes. So guys, this is how your mask is supposed to look like. Oh, I love it. And like the, it's like thick and nice. Ready to take all my acne away. Okay. Now, with storage, just put it in an airtight container and um, pop it in the fridge because it does have a lot of sensitive ingredients in it. So, you want to keep it good and unfungified for the longest time possible. Now, for actual application, what I do use is this Low Techniques brush. I think it's from the Metallics or Metals range. And I got it ages ago, and like I never ended up using it because I got a beauty blender right after it. But I recently realized that it's so good for mask application. So what I do is I get the flat side and I dip in, I get a generous amount and I just... washing it off scrub in your face and don't just wash the whole thing off straight away like scrub your face because it because you know the because the baking powder and the, and the coffee are like exfoliants so you just want to exfoliate your skin while you're doing that it's really good um yeah and don't mind the rustic application and i'll just try and not get it on the scarf but yes that's it Hope you guys like the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. If you've got any other video recommendations, hit me down below in the comments. But yeah, that's it guys. This is <laughs>